This is just a short video introduction to VB Audio's Voice Meter Audio Mixer, which you see right here. We have three inputs, two hardware outputs, and a second virtual output, which is the B output. So let's demonstrate this real quick for what Morse code over the internet. I have da 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 paddles set up and we're going to send this to the voice meter's own virtual audio card called voice meter VAIO. So we're able to hear it in real time. It sends it to the sound card, which is my Realtek HD audio. It also sends it out the virtual channel, this channel B. And that's that second VU meter you see here. And it works very well. It's very low latency and near zero latency, as a matter of fact, so that you won't notice any delay from tapping your pedal to actually hearing the tone. Another great quality of this voice meter audio mixer is it has an EQ available. So I've turned down the bass and the highs and just turned up the mids and that helps to clean up the audio output of da da da. We also can through the first channel VB cable A send Morse code keyboard. And if you don't want to listen to your side tone you can turn off A and it'll just go out B. So you see action and there's that B meter. So we can use both keyboard with or without monitoring your side tone. You can use your iambic paddles using this software CW keyer. You can hear it yourself. Hear your own side tone so you can key properly. You can also send it to this, this virtual output on B. And what that does is allow you to take any Morse code over the internet program, select that same sound card as the input, and we also have the same output on a different channel. So on cable B, let's go to the server and I'll show you how that works. So cable B is just for mumble. So I can hear anything on mumble through this channel and it also goes to the sound card. Because this is locking everything in an exclusive mode, you can't have a, another program sending audio to your sound card. So this mixer mixes everything properly and sends it to the sound card for you. So this input B allows me to hear mumble. It'll be the second tone. And that's going from St. Louis to California and back, which is pretty good uh, latency performance. Not much delay at all. And by unselecting B, I'm not going to send it to the virtual, so the output of mumble coming in here does not go back I mean, to the input of mumble on here. Let's go ahead and show you what that would sound like. So we don't want that. And if you're using stereo mix, this is usually what you're going to get. So this mixer allows you to unselect that so you can keep a separate channel just so that you can hear the output audio from a program like Mumble. So let's take that off the server again. Anyway, that's a, just a basic introduction to the features and it works really well. You can look at the show notes for the links to all this free software. Thanks for watching.